Yo, what is up, guys? James Carter TV here to recap the Tennessee Titans game against the Indianapolis Colts, in which the Tennessee Titans lost 41 to 17. Now, this is coming from a Titans fan, so if you want to, you know, a completely unbiased report, you might as well go watch another video because this is going to be from a Titans fan perspective. And I, there is a reason why I was cautiously optimistic after week one. And why, since then, I've been unbridedly pessimistic. Because this team just isn't very good. And we saw it on display once again. And man, I'm so conflicted about how I feel about this. Uh, because here's the fact of the matter is this. Okay, if this is the same old Tennessee Titans team, which it appears to be, they are going to win their next two games. And I'm going to hate every second of it. They're facing Cleveland and Jacksonville, both games in Tennessee. If this is the same old Tennessee Titans team, they will win those games. They'll go back to 3-3, three and three, they'll be 500, and we will believe that they're coming back. But the thing is now, do we want them to? I mean, do we really want to be mediocre yet again? Because I've been saying from the get-go, being mediocre in this league, in the NFL, is not what you want to do. You either want to make the playoffs, or you want to stink. That is my philosophy. Because if I look at teams like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I look at teams like the Buffalo Bills, I look at teams like, eh, kind of the Cleveland Browns too, they're not terrible, and even the Jaguars. I'm all, the Jaguars are pretty terrible, but... They're not terrible, they're mediocre a lot, and they stay in that range. If you want to break through, you need to stink, get at the top of the 2015 draft, or any draft, and take the best guy available, preferably a quarterback. That is really the way you turn your franchise around. There's a reason why... The Falcons turned their franchise around when they drafted Mike Ryan. There's a reason why the Lions somewhat turned their franchise around when they drafted Matthew Stafford. There's a reason why the Colts turned their franchise around when they drafted Andrew Luck. There's a reason why, even though it's for one season, but the Redskins turned their franchise around when they drafted RG3. This is a quarterback league, and if you don't have one, you need to get one, because getting that quarterback... It will change your entire team. It's just, it's a mentality too. Because this, you watch the team, you watch this Tennessee Titans team, and you, you, where you reminisce about them being the same old Tennessee Titans, and you have to wonder why. They changed the coaching staff, they had some personnel changes, but you need more. I think you need one at the top. They finally need a vocal leader, a good quarterback. Also, I mean, not even just vocal, but just someone who can play quarterback well. Okay, a vocal quarterback, a good vocal quarterback to be at the helm. And there's not one on the roster. Uh, maybe Zach Benberger, but I I'm not willing to put my franchise on a six-round pick. So it may be best off for this team to lose games and to find that quarterback at the top of the 2015 NFL Draft. It appears as if there will be quarterbacks there, but you never really know. But that's the best thing. That's the best thing you can do. Or you can try to win these games. You're going to win some of them. You're going to finish probably 6-10, and 7-9. And you're going to go nowhere. You're going to draft a quarterback in the first round next year. And you're still going to have the same result. So, I mean, what do we have to do to change things here in Tennessee? Because this game was absolutely preposterous. And I know I'm talking about absolutely nothing on the defensive by the side of the ball. And yes, the Titans sucked on defense. They actually stopped the run. For the first week, they stopped the run. But then they couldn't stop the pass. Bleedy Ray Wilson stings. He sucks. Get him out of here. He's terrible. Number 25 is awful. Cody Sensabaugh did not look that much better. And Jason McCourty, even our best quarter, a Pro Bowl corner, did not look well. This whole cornerback core needs to be tampered with. So, basically, here's the things that need tampering. First of all, Bishop Sankey needs to start at running back. I mean, I don't know what more we want from this kid. Bishop Sankey needs to start at running back. Andy Levitri has not been playing well. I mean, and I don't know how they're going to fix that issue. There is not a guard on the roster right now that can replace him. But for 2015 and beyond, they need a 
look at that because I know they're paying him all kinds of money, but he's not playing well enough to deserve a penny of that money. Michael Woods is not playing well. Lucky for them, they have a backup uh, left tackle with Taylor Lewan. He can come in. But the quarterback position, I've already touched on that. You know, get that out of here. The wide receivers, they were dropping today. They, they were dropping a lot of balls today. And I want to have faith in Kendall Wright and Justin Hunter. But why should I? I mean, why should I? Kendall Wright, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because he's played well. But the problem is with this Tennessee Titans team is that we wait. We, we did this with Kenny Britt for so long. We keep saying, well, you know, one of these years. So finally, well, you know, no. Why don't we just draft a kid? Why don't we just get a kid who comes and plays well? Why do we have to sit here and wait for someone to play well? Why do we have to sit here and have faith that someone will play well? Why don't we get someone who plays well? Uh, so, hey, I would look at the wide receiving core and upgrade that position because, I mean, there's no plays being made over there. Uh, you, you look at tight end is great. Delaney Walker, Pro Bowl tight end right now in the AFC, without a doubt. Defense. I like the defensive line. I think they get a lot of penetration on these passing plays. But the running game isn't great. I think I'm going to credit a lot of that to the linebackers. Now, they lost their inside linebacker in Zach Brown to begin the season. So maybe they deserve a little bit, little bit of the benefit of the doubt there. But their linebackers are terrible. I mean, even Derek Morgan. Now, this guy, I'll give him some benefit of the doubt because he just switched over from a defensive end to an outside linebacker. This is new for him. But why did we switch to a 3-4? I mean, if people aren't ready for it, why are we switching? So he needs to be ready. He needs to play well. Uh, and he's not doing that to me. Cameron Wembley stinks. He'll get a good play every now and then. But for the most part, he stinks. Akeem Ayers, second round pick in 2011, doesn't play. He's inactive every game. And Quinton Groves, this guy's someone that was picked up off the street about two weeks ago. Uh, so the linebackers, they're terrible. They're, they're terrible. And the secondary, I think it's bad. I mean, I want to have faith in Jason, in Jason McCourty. I like Bernard Pollard and the way he speaks, but he's not playing well. And Michael Griffin is showing his true colors once again. So a lot of issues with this Tennessee Titans team. And I look back, look back at this year's 2013 NFL Draft. There was a reason why I was yelling at the top of my lungs after the Tennessee Titans selected Taylor Lewan. Um, because why are we drafting for the future? I mean, I just, I, I, I don't understand that. There is not one rookie from this 2014, I said 13, excuse me, 2014 NFL draft class. There is not one player that is starting for the Tennessee Titans. And that's just ridiculous. In this league, you need to draft players. You need to start players. You need to draft good players. You need to start those good players. If you're not starting any players from your draft class, you've had a bad draft class, and that's just that simple but to me. Um, so, I mean, you wasted this draft. Hey, it's a waste. Uh, the 2013 draft, I mean, geez, Chance Warmack, he's playing well. I'll give him, you know, a little props there, but... Man, Rustin Webster, I think he needs to be on the hot seat. All these drive classes amounting to absolutely nothing, and that is an issue to me because I need to see more from this. His best draft pick has been Kendall Wright in his entire tenure. Uh, Kendall Wright and maybe Jarrell Casey as well. Uh, but he was even the the guy for that Jarrell Casey pick, so I'm not even sure if I, if I should give him all that credit for that one. Um, but, you know, wow. I the 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 Tennessee Titans stink, uh, and it's a shame, really. I mean, it is a shame, but uh, and it was going to be the biggest shame is that they're going to win their next two games, most likely. Now, I'm going to pick against them for Cleveland and for Jacksonville as of right now, but if they win next week, I'm going to sit back and I'll have a gun in my face. I'm going to be saying, "Great, I mean, this team loves to be mediocre, and it'll be mediocre again because." We're not making the playoffs. I don't care what happens. It's not happening. Jake Locker will get injured in the upcoming three weeks. I mean, yeah, he will get, he'll get injured again. He'll, he won't play well, and we'll be in a state of limbo. Uh, but, you know, until next time. And, man, we're already week four. I'm already talking about the 2015 NFL draft and all this. And we still have 12 games to go. I still have 12 game recaps to make. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But, I mean, this team is just not very good. And it's a shame, really, for all of us Titans fans because all the – we're kind of sick of this now. I mean, we, it's just it's just getting sickening, but I'm kind of used to it. So, like, my heart was not pounding one time today. And it, it's been a long time for a Titans game where I could say that. So, wow. All right, anyway, guys, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.